If you have questions, we have answers. Join us live every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for Talking RV Tech, presented by RVTravel.com. Here's a sample from one of our recent shows. All right, so we got the next person. Uh, Krista is, hi guys, hi Krista. She's got a 22 Jayco J Flight 28 BHOK. They are coming up with some really funky names, aren't they? Uh, to use or not to use the Dexter Easy Lube axle if used correctly, or just go with the old school to annually repack bearings. Um, old school. Conflicting <laughs> online stuff. What do you think? Old school. Yeah, I think that's that's really up to preference. I mean, a lot of times when the manufacturers of these products are coming out, they are coming out with the idea of like, hey, it's it's easier, right? You don't have to do as much stuff. Um, me personally, I like to make sure things are done and things are maintenance and things. I prefer the old school pack and bearings, um, but it's really, it's up to you. You know, it's the same kind of deal with like flooded batteries. Yeah, they make flooded batteries that are regular pop top flooded and they also make seal flooded batteries. And really the biggest benefit is oh, I don't have to do as much maintenance. It's, it's your preference. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I kind of look at it too, and it's the, you know, how much you're using it, how mm -hmm. many miles you're going to put on the stuff. So what the Dexter Easy Lube is, is when you have an axle, you've got a spindle and the bearing goes on the spindle and the nut. And to grease that, you have to take it all apart, clean it and, and grease it by hand. The Easy Lube bearing is a full spindle and it's got a zerk on the outside and it's got a tube or a raceway that goes all the way in to the back part of that spindle. And then it, it you can put grease in it. It comes in from the back side and pushes mm -hmm it out now you know so it's, it's easier to do i i am not a big fan of bearing buddies because they pretty much grease the outside of the rv in my <laughs> flying down the road um, but i have used the easy bearings um we we had a um i ran a company that had three trucks and trailers and we put 125,000 miles a year on each one of those and we had some with regular bearings and we had one with the easy bearing system and if you maintain them and you know what's going on, and we've done this a couple of times, this is one of your best tools you can have. This is called an infrared thermometer, and it is just a, you get, they, oh, sorry, Zach, you're, that was gonna be your cool tool, wasn't it? Uh, no, I got a whole bunch, I got a whole bunch okay. more. All right, all right. But what you do with this is once a day, when you're traveling down the road, you go out and you hit with this laser here, and you hit the hub and the brake drum and the tire. And if you're running 75 degrees ambient temperature, it's not uncommon to see it up into the 95 or 85, 90 um, temperature range. But when it spikes up into that 120, 150, 200, then you know something's going on. Then you know those bearings are, are getting dry. And even Dexter, who says with that easy loop, they recommend once a year taking that apart and checking those bearings anyway so you can't just go in and hit that zerk and never have to pull them apart and inspect it and that's what most people yeah. think when when they see that system which is why they have all these other problems and stuff's kind of hit and miss on them is they think it's a one and done you put it on you can just forever pump grease into that thing and it's good to go well and unfortunately they're told that yeah you know yeah, that's it. not by dexter not by dexter but you know what uh everybody's looking for that little aha when they're going shopping and somebody says, oh, you know, these new easy lubes, you never have to do the bearings. Yeah. Wrong. That is not. And if that was the case, every manufacturer would have them already on the units. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's. And, well, and Lippert has a version of that too. You know, that's, so they're all looking for a wild wow thing, but I just, uh, you know, I, I'm an old school myself and once a, once a month or once, once a year, or if I see the spike, you know, again, yeah. that, that's when you would go with it. Join us live this coming Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for Talking RV Tech. You can join us on any of the YouTube or Facebook destinations linked below. We hope to see you there.